welcome friends welcome to Mestro Mantra once again and today we are going to make a, a clear review of the most dominating section in uh, Indian auto industry or perhaps the Asia on the street that is the hatchback section and in the hatchback it has been really dominant for, for the middle class the lower middle class and upper middle class and even for the high class because looking at the traffic scenario looking at the parking problem looking at the problems in the cities the road conditions people are really moving diverts towards the hatchback and what name comes to my mind when that hatchback comes up apart from Maruti Alto which has been really dominating and the king and the catch the market size in a big volume the thing which has changed the story for Renault was Renault Quit. I'm not going to talk about Renault in general and Renault Quit in general but I'm talking about the special the aesthetic uh, segment class they launched the Quit Auto on their second anniversary in 2017 as we know 2016 when quid was launched it was as it has turned the table for Renault. it has been a winner section and after O1, the o2 was launched in 2017 and it has been marked really very well with this sporty look and elegant thing what is really stands apart like not to make a me too psychology for the hashtag thing the choice was not much but only related to the datsun go or maruti alto other segments which were ruling like that Hyundai i10 or Hyundai Centro that was a bar for the compare market but what has changed with the quid or with the O2 especially especially like that the mentality the mindset the demand for more in paying less the front really if you see it's up here more robust like an SUV this O2 hologram this decals gives a really sporty look and with this is a red and black combinations or sorry, red and white combinations, I beg your pardon. It gives that red and white bravery award kind of thing. And that the real aesthetic and a French finish you can feel it over here. And that is it. Nobody finds it designed. Very well worked, very well curved design. The height of uh, the tire things and the tire cover is comparatively high, which has been given on the SUV line compared to all the regular pack line. The side glasses are really Tamatina red, which is give, which gives a size of an aesthetic feeling and it's a well part and maintained a bit that way. The front pillar is small enough and the sign of O2 hologram that gives it an special atmosphere. If you see it all along, it's been three years and it's been a dear darling vehicle. From a hatchback point of view, the big what great aspect of a like about Renault engineering is their aesthetics and understanding about space management. You could feel uh, a ticket space over here. The plastic quality is also really very good. The space another for keeping the bottles where you can keep around three to four liters of bottle. And most smart space management, you have a screen over here which comes with all the radio, media, phone, map, navigation settings. You have a power windows that works from here, front two power and then two manuals. You have a sporty odometer over here, which gives a really sense of feeling driving onto some Ferrari circuit or things like that. And if you could see this quality of curves and mentioned over here, that adds to the beauty to this real piece. Here, about the space management on the front, you don't have a cool glove box, but you have an ample space management where you can keep a stuff over here for the regular stuff on that side and that's not all if you have something more you can keep it down so this space uh, 10 out of 10 to Renault kit for the space panel. apart from that you have a coffee cup holder which goes on well over here and uh, even you cannot see that in the uh, Nissan uh, vehicles also which I really uh, just now reviewed about Nissan kicks it was quite easy there. on the back side yeah. The pro side, the space is quite well, and if you could see the leg space is also quite well for a, a short journey, for the short trips, or there you want to take uh, for 150-200 kilometers, even for the long rides of 500 kilometers, really cozy and comfortable. You have a hold on your leg space, but the thigh support is a little bit missing. If uh, you are a little bit heighted, you'll be missing in that way. But that's for the cushions. The cushions quite cozy. That goes well into your line. Uh, next part of the kit, I think uh, that, that key, the space management, you can make a bed and that hold up. And that goes on well with the thing. 
back side the boot is almost about 300 liters which moves around from 250 to 300 liters and that's a deep thing you can keep the stuff here you can fold the stuff and you can have a real bedding things but that's the kind of adventure you don't have you have a parcel tray here where you can keep your stuff and you can have the things very well maintained see uh, for a city guide or a city boy this goes very well so it appears like a toy car what earlier when Maruti came but in my verdict, it's not merely a tire car, but it's a joy car with a joy right over it like that. And with, if you can see the blend of a red and white, it is very aesthetically made. And there is not much done. Though Renault has tried with his Avenger series and other series also making the kind aesthetics. But the simple and sober of O2 collection or O2 design has not been matched till now. So overall, Renault kit, O2 collection, on an average, it gives around 20, 20 average with 1000 cc of uh, petrol engine and that's quite well and fair enough for a city rides and drive. So on my point on Mestro Mantra skills, 10 out of 9 for Renault Quid O2 collections and 10 out of 10 for aesthetics and craft. So this is Dr. Vikram Singh taking a brief review for Renault Quid O2 collection. Thank you very much.